just wanted to show you guys or talk to you a little bit about switch layers and what they are if you're new to Anime Studio and um, also show you how to make a dial if you want to make a visual reference for switch layers. So this is the character that I use for most of my animations and you can see um, he's already rigged and I have so for the hands if I open my layers you can see I have a bunch of switch layers which are just pieces of artwork that you can switch from one to another. So if I right click on the folder with my hands I can go and select and you can see it changes the uh, hand positions or hand uh, artwork. So I have quite a bit. I think there's maybe 17 hands in this on this character so far and um, you can change these while you're in the timeline. So if I have if I'm animating and then I go to a different frame and then right click and change the hands that's that's how switch layers work so they're just if I go through the timeline you can see these uh, pieces of artwork just swap out I guess that's a better way of describing it is swapping out um, but to do that uh, like I said, you have to come over to the folder and right click and then choose which one you want. And even if you have um, pretty good naming conventions and you know what these are, uh, it, it can be a real hassle if you have, uh, you know, you can have dozens of hands um, if your character is really complicated. So what I'm going to show you today is how to create a bone to just um, cycle through these without having to go over to your folder every time. So I'm going to start off by going to frame zero because you have to be on frame zero to create anything. And I'm going to select the bone layer and I'm actually going to hit B and select my hand bone right here. This actually controls the pivot of the hand. And then I'm going to, with it selected, it's red. I'm going to come out here to the side of the hand and just draw, holding shift down, uh, hit A to add a new bone. Hold shift down and then just draw a bone here. And if you look at the parenting, you can see it's actually connected. I'm just doing this so when I move my arm that this bone follows. It's not actually going to control anything other than the hand positions but I kind of want it to follow around. So I'm going to hit B and I'm going to rename this hand positions or poses. And I'll go ahead and uh, just change the colors so you can see what's going on and show the label. So it's called hand poses. And if I go into the timeline and move my character around, you can see it follows that hand. And I, I just want it to do that in case I'm animating I just want it to be close to the hand and but not uh, directly connected to confuse my self with it being something that actually controls any part of the body so let me go back to frame zero real quick I also want to change the bone strength and just turn it down because you don't need any bone strength for this so now that we have hand poses I'm going to just copy this I'm gonna select the label and do a command C to copy. You can also type this, but it's just easier, I think, if you just uh, create actions by copying and pasting. So we'll go to the window and actions. Then you want to go to smart bones right here. And then we want to create a new one. And then I'll just do a command V and paste. And it just names it uh, what we just copied up here. So we'll hit OK. And for this tutorial, I'm just going to do eight hands. Um, you can make a bigger, you can make this dial choose every single hand as long as you have enough angles. But for this purpose, I'm going to do about eight. So the first keyframe, you can see it turned blue for an action. We're just going to uh, right click and leave it at portal gun. And you can see that made a uh, keyframe for the portal gun. Then I'm going to cl click on the bone layer. I'm going to hit T and I'm going to hold shift down and then pull it so it's at a 45 degree angle. I'll go to frame six and then I will right click my hands again and then I'll select the second um, hand. 
which is the, uh, what is that? Open hand inward. And then I'll go to frame 12, go back to the bone layer, hit T, hold shift down, and drag it so it's pointing to the right, and then select the next hand. And so on and so on. I'm just, you can actually put these right next to each other um, in the timeline, but I'm just doing it so I have a nice amount of space. So we'll go to frame 18, do the same thing, T, hold shift down, turn it, and select the next hand. Resting, go to 24, go to the bone, hold, uh, hit T, hold shift, turn it so it's facing downward, and then select the next hand. And you could do this for all of them. All, you know, just you, you have to have enough angles to uh, place your hands. And, and remember to always go back to the bone layer when you're turning it. I'm going to go boxing, and I'm just using the first eight hands that I have. It's not going to look super pretty, but you can use this for like your most, uh, the hands you use the most, or default hands, I guess. But you can also do this with mouths and any other type of uh, um, switch layer that you want to use. Open palm, and I think this will be the last one. Just because I'm holding shift down, I have eight angles, different angles, close up. So if I cycle through, uh, frame one has the portal gun, and it turns, and you can see the bone turning as, as I go. And there it is. You have um, your switch layers bound to a smart bone. So I'll double click into the timeline. And if I zoom out here and say you're animating, I'll be on the bone layer, I'll hit Z. Um, you know, you can animate your character. And I have hand, his arm moving, and you can see the bone is following. And then I want to change the uh, p hand position and not go over to the layers. I can just hit T and just turn it to the position that I want instead of having to uh, go through the layers over here. So it's just an easier, well, I think easier way to uh, cycle through switch layers if you have quite a few. And you can just keep doing that, animate. Um, you can use, uh, if you're using Z and you're manipulating the bones, you can use Z, but it also moves the hand too, so it's a little trickier. So I just hit T, so I can rotate without anything moving like that. So that's the first part of um, using switch layers. But say you have so many pieces of artwork you don't know that's still kind of confusing. You can actually, if you want, make a visual reference of your arms, or uh, switch layers. So in this case, your hands. So let me close this for a second. So let's go to, back to frame zero. And since we know that uh, we have the first uh, eight, if it's closed, these are the, these are the uh, um, hands that I've made switch layers for, or control the uh, switch layer bone. So I'm going to duplicate all of these and I'm just going to drag them up and out of the hands layer. And again, th remember this is just for reference. It's not You're not going to use these to animate. So with all of them selected, I'm going to hit the uh, uh, translate a layer and just move them over to the side here. And oh, and if anybody knows, how, how I don't know why, but the point of origins are all over the place now in Anime Studio. I don't know why they're not snapped into the center. If you guys know how to reset that, let me know. Um, but yeah, side note. So what I'm going to do is make a visual reference um, of those positions, just so I don't even have to look through a bunch of different ones. So now that I have all of these, I'm going to go to the portal gun. I know that its position with this bone is at the top, so I'm just gonna move it up here. I'll use uh, the 
open hand, select all, and just move that over here. And I'm just going to make it into a kind of a dial. So open hand, move it over here, resting right here. Boxing glove is at the bottom when it's turned. And then the next boxing glove here. And the open palm is right there. And fist closed. So you can see I'm kind of making a circle. And some of you can probably guess what I'm going to do. And just kind of make sure that you have them positioned pretty much in the way that you want them to be. You can see this looks like a clock kind of. So now that I have them in this kind of position, I'm going to let's move this Oops, like that. These hands need a little work too. They're not the right size. All of them are. So now we have a kind of dial. I'm going to uh, select this, the portal gun, hold shift down, select all of these together, and then I'm just going to select group. Oh, I didn't have to do that. I needed to make a group folder, then select them and drag them in there. So that put them in uh, their own folder. And the reason I put them in their own folder is so I could do uh, resize them all at the same time. So I'm just going to call this hand reference. Reference. I don't know if I spelled that right. Anyway. So now that they're all in the group folder, now I can grab them all and just shrink them down. And I'm just going to put this up here. And this is, you don't have to do this. I just thought this was kind of an easy way to um, kind of have this reference, visual reference of what you, um, in case you don't want to mess around with your hands or switch layers that much. So I'll collapse that. And now what I'm going to do is go to the bone layer. And I'll just draw um, with nothing selected. Make sure, see this is red. Go ahead and hit B and just click on the canvas. So n nothing is selected because we don't want it linked actually to the hand. So I'll go ahead and draw a bone. And I'll rename this hand poses one, just so it's not the same as this one right here. I'll hit return, I'll hit B, and we'll go ahead and turn this into yellow also and show the label so you can see it. Make sure that the uh, strength is turned all the way down. Okay, and then we'll hit B. Uh, make sure that it's aligned to where it needs to be because we know as we turn the bone, this is how the hands are going to change. So we want that in the center like that. And now I'm going to select, oh, with that selected, go to hand poses. Oh, wait. Hit B, bone constraints. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. So select B, hit bone constraints, and then we want the angle control bone and then select hand poses and then close. So what that does is this bone actually controls the angle of this bone as well. So if I go into the timeline and turn it, oops, maybe, oh, I did that the wrong way. I'm sorry. Let's go back. Um, bone constraints, turn this off, none. We'll select this bone, hand poses, bone constraints, angle control bone, hand poses one, and close. So I think now, yeah. So now that we've made this the control bone for this bone, if, if I grab it, you can see both of these turn. So as your bone points to a picture, it changes the hand to that pose. So you can actually use this also. 
So if I'm animating in the timeline and I don't know which picture or f switch layer I want to use, I can just choose from up here and it changes my characters down here. And if you like that um, technique better than having a bone floating over here, um, you can actually just hide it. So I can be animating my character. Oops. Oh, you know what? It's, here's a. I'm kind of glad that happened. These hands are actually bound to this bone. So I'm going to go into the hand reference layer, select all of these, and go up to bone and release layer and points for all of those. And I think that should take care of that. So if I'm in here and I'm animating my character, let's make sure that actually works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now nothing moves. So these, some of those points were bound to the hand bone because they're copies. So just make sure that you release the points so that doesn't happen. So now I can animate, change the hand poses with my little um, reference up here or down here. Oops. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I'm glad I tried that out because you cannot, once you have this linked, it, uh, I don't think you can move it. That's good to know. So if you do have this controlling another bone, you have to use this one. So you can use either technique. But um, we can go back to frame zero. And if you if you want to use this technique instead, let's go back. Oops. Make sure that's facing upwards. You can actually select this bone and then hide selected bones. So it's not there. So I can go in here and be animating my character and then use this as a switch layer control as opposed to going over into your uh, layers and trying to figure out which pose you have. So I hope that made sense and I hope you got an understanding kind of of what switch layers are. And um, like I said, you can use either technique. Um, putting one to the side is kind of handy because then it's just always with your character and this this um, this way with the reference over here is kind of nice too because you'll have a visual reference of um, what your pictures look like without having to guess so that's it if you have any questions or comments um, just go ahead and leave them below thanks